guys, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I can't believe how many seeds have popped up and it's only day three. This was not the case with my spring garden. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Guys, be encouraged. I really think that if you fail once in a garden, it could just mean that you're figuring out your area, how things are growing, how things will grow. Don't let that, um, there's nothing growing in here. Don't let it discourage you if the first time you try growing in an area, you do not see anything. Because I am seeing so much more growth than I saw the first time and it is so encouraging. What I've been doing during the second attempt growing a garden is keeping our white agrabon on it at night to keep the environment like a greenhouse, a mini greenhouse. As soon as I see the sun come out, which I do notice we get the most full sunlight in the morning, I take the agrabon off and I let these puppies that are sprouting get sun, which is, seems to be working. Day five. Just a little update on my beets. Hmm, there's quite a few mysteries going on here. We've had a little bit of rainfall where I've had my Agrabon mesh cover on that I was using to hopefully, you know, be a middleman between the rain pounding the soil and dispersing seeds. So since then, I've seen a lot of growth in the garden. I've seen a lot of growth with my radishes. I've seen growth from spinach, some of my lettuces but my beets have taken a very sad turn. When I took the mesh cover off after some rainfall, I noticed that a lot of the seedlings with a little bit of leaf or no leaf was almost like laying on the very top of the soil. Seedlings that I hadn't even seen grown the day before. So I'm not exactly sure why that happened. I was trying to figure out, was it an animal? Where did these, you know, these seedlings popped up overnight and they're dead, you know? Um, so I don't know if it's a problem with germination. I don't know if it got so flooded that they rose up to the top and what was growing was just completely dismantled. I don't really know what happened, but today something even weirder happened. We had the craziest rainfall last night. I had my Agrabon cover on. I took it off this morning and I found, are you ready for this? Three pieces of chicken or possibly steak. My kids had steak the other night and my daughter actually drop some on the stairs of the RV. I pick them up and I'm thinking maybe I missed some and is it possible an animal grabbed it and hung out in my grow bag during the rainfall? I just don't even know. It wasn't even eight. It was just sitting in my grow bag. I do feel saddened mm -hmm. by my beets. Let me know, do you guys know are beets hard to germinate? Am I doing something wrong? I had a lot of hope. A lot of them were just dismantled. Um, and there's some here that are growing, but it looks like the tops were bit off. But that is oh, no. a big, big, that's a big disappointment. So we're doing something very exciting. We're about to harvest our first pepper. But this is not a pepper that we grew from seed. This is a pepper transplant, but don't get it twisted. It is still ridiculously special. This pepper was completely grown under my care and it is something to be proud of. So if you are harvesting vegetables that you didn't grow from seed, do not let that take away the joy from enjoying the process of harvesting that. This is legitimately my first vegetable I'm getting from my garden. Aside from the scraps that I got from the seedlings that did not grow, in my first ever garden, my spring garden. So let's go and enjoy this harvest, guys. Hey, dude. Hey, I ready? to eat it. Yep. Okay, do you guys want to hold my hand while I do it, while I cut it? Okay, one, let's count. One, two, three. <gasps> well, we're gonna bring it inside. Oh, I can hold it. You can hold it? Okay, can I see it, please? Can I see it, please? Wow. Mom, why are we going to eat it? We're all so excited. Mom, why we can't eat it? Because, well, we're going to eat it inside, but hold on, let's look at it a second. Who's excited? Me. Doesn't it feel so I'm good? Bring it. And guess what? Yeah. I hope that this will turn into another pepper. Yeah. Right? Because now our pepper has nothing. So that's okay. This plant has nothing now, but it will grow back. Enjoy. Wow. Nothing goes to waste. 
Maybe? Take one. Are they hot? I think so, maybe. One. Two. Oh, three. <laughs> Wait, come on. It's not too hot. I mean, cheers, me. <laughs> Dropped it. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Tink. Oh, save something. I cannot believe it. Between the mysterious stems off my garden. The chicken, <laughs> the pieces of chicken in the garden. Today I thought there's no way anything new can possibly happen that is gonna be crazy. And lo and behold, there's a mouse in my garden and he's not going anywhere it appears. So that's the one that ate the beet stems. It explains the reason for the chicken left in the grow bag. And now I don't know where he went, but he was running all over my garden, basically throwing it in my face. He was actually kind of cute. Of course I can't find him, where is he? He was under, like hiding under the grow bags, under this part. <gasps> Look, chicken, steak. You see, I'm not crazy. Get that out of here. It's making my, turning this into a den of thieves. He's here. See him? Come on. How do I get it, get you out of here? Anyone else have this problem with mice? Because now I need to figure out how to get rid of them. I haven't seen any growth since that mouse ate all of my beets. I mean, I do have a little thing there, a little thing there, and a little thing here. But I think that I want to replant my beets and just make sure that I'm setting myself up for a good harvest. I know I do see a few, but it says that we can plant them one seed every four inches. And I just want to make sure we don't lose any of them. So I, got, I want you guys to put one seed in each hole. Looking at my onion bag coming out, I don't think that I grew my onions as densely as I could have, meaning I might have only dropped two seeds per cell instead of dropping like, you know, t up to 10, which I heard that you could. So I might plant a little more of this. I did hear that the less you plant together, the bigger the white bulbs will be. But we really enjoy using the um, stalks so I think I'm gonna plant more. Now my spinach got even bigger than it did last time, believe it or not. But I think that mouse might have ate some of the spinach. So I'm gonna plant one more right about there and I'm gonna plant one more right about there. I planted this lettuce, I covered it in Agrabon because we had like some really intense rain but what i think looks like happened is that everything that we had planted i think got washed by the rain to this area and so unfortunately i think it's not turning out as hot i don't think it's time to thin yet but i wonder if all of this in one spot is keeping it from really growing so i'm gonna plant in different areas today but then i'm also i might need to weed that out a little bit They're actually coming up really easy, which leads me to believe that they never really had a strong 
roots. I think the reason this butter had lettuce didn't stick is because you're supposed to depth it surface to one eighth inch and I must have just not put them deep enough. So we're gonna try again. A sprinkle, a sprinkle. Oh, see? Put it in the hole, yep. Okay. What am I doing wrong? I can't believe this. Uh, so I just noticed that my neighbor is getting her trailer washed with, you know, probably soap and like um, toxic chemicals. <laughs> and my garden is like right next to it. Now I got this guy, nice guy, spraying chemicals all over the back right near the garden so anyway i ran outside and i put a tarp over it and i'm taking deep breaths because this is like how hard is it to grow a garden it looks way easier i think it looks way easier than it really is or i guess like everybody's different with how you have to fight against certain things i mean i fought against lack of sunlight fought against you know like a fertilizer that was a rookie mistake Okay, let's take a peek at what this is looking like.